A Morgan County family tonight demanding change. Their loved one hit and killed while walking with his girlfriend. Tonight they say it happened on a dark and dangerous road outside Mooresville. And now they want the city to do something about it. It is our top story. Thank you so much for joining us on this Monday. I'm Fanchon Stinger. And I'm Dan Spieler. Fox tonight's Mike Sullivan went to that area today. Mike, what was your impression of the situation? Well, we shot video along Old State Road 67 in Brooklyn Township in that area outside of Mooresville. And when our camera lights were down, a photographer watched his car sped by him. It is certainly a dangerous place to be walking, especially now that it's getting darker earlier. always seem to stick more. Just the last thing of him promising me that he would be back. When they can no longer be heard. And then he's he's never coming back. At least for Brittany Price. He forgot to tell me he loved me. She still has these four. He come back and he's like, I love you, Nene. TJ Willoughby was just 18 years old, walking his girlfriend to a September date at a park near his home. He was trying to be Mr. Macho for his girlfriend. In reality, he was terrified of the dark. So she had the bike, he had the skateboard. They were heading down McClure Boulevard onto Old State Road 67. I said, just be careful, you know, don't stay out too late. It was only minutes later. I heard a scream of, oh my God, no. And then about 30 seconds later, I heard tires. Right then and there. First instinct was that it was my nephew. I just felt it. She knew he was gone, struck by a car, killed on impact. We need lights. We need you know, to slow down. We need caution, curve ahead. The stretch of road is indeed dark and the turn blind at times. I go down there every other day. TJ's grandmother, Carrie Moore. That is 35 miles an hour. Tends to the memorial left in his memory. And I keep my truck running and I hit my flashers and I keep my lights on. Soon, they'll be adding this Christmas tree as a tribute. The solar powered lights will give some illumination to the road. If, if they could just save one more life. It would be grateful. The stretch has no sidewalks, no lights. And that's probably about two and a half miles down the road. They have almost 500 signatures on a petition to Mooresville and Brooklyn asking Public Works to put additional safety measures in place. I went and spent every bit of money I had on a machine to be able to make my own signs. And if you don't put one down there, we will. And if you take it down, we will put another one, even if we get a ticket. I'll pay it. We reached out to Mooresville Public Works to see what can be done, and we expect to connect with them tomorrow. If you do drive by that Christmas tree memorial in the coming weeks, the Willoughby family asks that you place some ornaments on the tree in his honor. Back to you guys. All right, Mike, thank you.